You guys, the 2022 BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe is here. And yes, it is a Practico 4 Series, and it is awesome. Another set of four doors is so sexy on the 2022 BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. Now, BMW took the... Um, covers off the new 4 Series uh, Coupe and a lot of people didn't like one thing and that was the grill they hated it 12 months later not many people have embraced the design fully however the initial shock <clears throat> of seeing something ugly has worn off folks the 2022 BMW Grand Coupe doesn't really surprise much. I mean, my wife owns the uh, 428i. And I think that's a fantastic automobile. So you can imagine what this is going to be like. Sometimes I look at this and I just say to myself, I should have waited to get my Lexus. But <clears throat> this looks awesome, folks. Take a look. Take a look. But I think this costs about $60,000. It's a lot of money for a Grand Coupe. So I know it'll cost a good bundle. So price range, competition, I don't know. But let's read on and see about this reveal. Because this is an awesome, awesome vehicle. So the BMW i4, not quite ready to purchase yet, but it's a fully electric vehicle. Now the 4 Series Grand Coupe, it looks identical to that. And when I saw the i4, that's just what I thought about. But the i4 EV. Looks awesome. And this is pretty cool. But the Grand Coupe is 5.9 inches longer. And 2.1 inches taller. And an inch wider. And it looks fantastic. And the large grill, let's go back to the large grill. The large grill, the tapered roof line, matched together quite well. It doesn't look as beautiful as the Audi A5 Sportsback, but it has that more distinctive adaptive LED headlights, which are standard. And the frameless windows and the flush feeding door handles. And let's take a look at some of that. Let's take a look at the flush fitting door handles. Now the cabin's definitely a familiar place. And we'll take a look at that too. This is awesome, especially this line down here. That's really unique. I actually see that on the 7 series. And now you see it here on the 4 series. This looks really, really sharp. Really sharp. I love the design of this. I mean, from the top, to the bottom, the sunroof. I mean, it's quite epic. Do I think the Audi A5 Sportsback look better? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I couldn't say it looks bet worse or do it look better. I couldn't say. I really can't say. But I think the BMW is sharp. I think it's really sharp. Looks quite spacious on the inside. And that red, I honestly, from the front of it, this looks better than the BMW, than the Audi A5 Sportback. It actually looks better, especially from the front. Sorry, Audi. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, which one you think looks better. I think it looks fantastic. Now, this, I like the mirrors too on the side. It's sort of got that M look with the design. Everything is just slick and well designed. I mean, look at the, uh, the red, how it goes with that flat gold type of look. And the mirrors, definitely unique. 
and it's signature. It's like you know that this is a BMW with it with those M style mirrors. That's definitely nice. But as you see, that was a different that was a different package. You're not gonna get those those kind of mirrors are not standard. So you're definitely gonna pay extra for that. These are the standard mirrors you see here. These are the standard ones. Yep, yeah, that's the standard right there. This right here is not standard and it definitely, definitely looks sharp right here. And I like the fact back in the day BMW had the, you know, these, um, this camera is actually split in half. So when you come around a corner, you can actually see the front half the right half and the left half just depend upon which one you want you can actually see around the corners that is so sweet i love that in my wife's 428 and i know the people who buy this are going to love this even more in their bmw and their new ford four series grand coupe and this is awesome you talk about the m440i x drive which is considerably uh Put the power to all four corners. 3.0 liter turbocharger in line six generates 382 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. This thing's a beast. Utilizes a 48 volt mild hybrid system that adds an immediate uh, boost of 11 horsepower. This is just straight out fantastic. And this is perhaps what we're seeing right here and actually this is the the one that we see here this is it and those mirrors are spectacular and take a look at those seats the interior everything is basically you know the interior itself looks like the three series you know the, the seats look like the three series um type of seats and i think i actually did a video on the Recent three series and it looks it's the same it's the same setup the same interior and but the outside just looks straight up awesome folks. Now they said the pricing for this with the X Drive Grand Coupe is fifty eight thousand dollars. That's what I thought. I knew it was sixty, but the Audi A five Sportsback starts at forty one eight hundred, where the uh, Grand Coupe. Uh, 430i begins at 44,800, which is more than my Lexus. I mean, my Lexus actually, it's about the same, but I think this is a little bit, this is like another, and it's the 430i Grand Coupe. That's the beginning price, so you're not going to get all the options that you would get in the Lexus. You're not going to get all the, the nice, the nice sound system and everything else that you would get. So, they don't compare. So do I regret? No, I don't. <laughs> I would have to pay a lot more money to get the uh, Four Series Grand Coupe spec the way I would like it. As though it was in the Lexus, I would pay a heck of a lot more money and it would be probably about a $60,000 automobile, not in the, in the mid or high 50s. But this is definitely significant. This is definitely nice, folks. I love that. I love the uh, the design, the uh, front grille, especially this gray with the teak, or how you say the um, the brown interior, the uh, teak color type of interior, the leather. I think that's nice, and I think this is sharp. The day automotive reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for coming by. Appreciate you. Have a fantastic day. And if no one told you today, I'm telling you that you are fantastic and you're awesome and you're incomprehensible. Much love. Hey, you guys. Say Automotive Reviews. Remember, like, share, subscribe. And thanks for coming to the channel. I appreciate you. Until then, we out.